Hey everybody, welcome back. Jeff here. Uh, hadn't done a video in a while. Been uh, a little under the weather. You know that always this time of the year, sinus infection, cold type stuff. But I finally got that behind me and uh, decided it was the time to put a little video together. So this is just going to be a short one. Um, might be a little controversial here, I don't know. Try not to bash me too hard in the comments. Um, but this is, uh, you know, should I bypass my tractor seat safety switch? Uh, something I chose to do. Uh, not something that I'm suggesting, so let me go ahead and put a disclaimer out there. I'm not suggesting in any way that anybody do this or try this. I'm just showing you what I did that works for what I do and my needs. Um, I just felt, in my case, that the seat safety switch was a nuisance. Um, not that I'm not trying to be a safe person or, or, or know that things can happen and will happen. And But uh, anyway, it's just what I chose to do. So, you know, if that's what you chose to do, that, that's your choice. But uh, anyway, I'm going to just show you how I did that. And it's real, real simple. Um, pretty much all, the, you know, the uh, tractors of this style, the compacts, subcompacts or whatever, have that safety switch nowadays on the seats. Um, I never drove a tractor that had that switch uh, until I got this one. And if you've watched my channel, you know I've got a few tractors. I've got, of all eras, I've got a 1954. Obviously safety wasn't, uh, or sorry, sorry, any safety devices on that tractor. Uh, 54 Farm All, I've got a 98 uh, Massey. It's got maybe a few more, but no safety switch on the seat and then this 2021 Coyote. Um, I was always, in, in my mind, equated the seat safety switch to the lawnmower, or some people may want to call them a lawn tractor, I call them a lawnmower. Uh, you know, what you cut your grass with. Most, uh, you know, for years now, um, most of those have a seat safety switch. And, and I can maybe understand that a little better. You know, you're a lot closer to mowers, blades, and thing belts and things that can uh, you know be right there at you uh, and it's, it's and it's not that um, you know I, I'm thinking that it's promoting getting off the tractor uh, with it running you still you still want to lock your brake and, and and put it in neutral and do the common sense things to be safe about it but there are many many times that you just need to stand up to see something as you saw in the opening video uh, couldn't uh, see how to uh, hook up the pallet forks, and I might have been, you know, exaggerating that a little bit, to be honest. But still, it's very difficult to see the front of those forks without kind of peeking over the hood to uh, get a look at it. So that's the reason I chose to unhook mine. So anyway, having said that, I, I think that in, in the tractor case, it more um, applies not so much as getting on and off the tractor, because as I said, you know, you normally would lock your brake and take it out of gear and everything. I think it's more so in using the loader uh, that you need to be able to see things. You know, the pallet forks is probably the most common one where you need to stand up to take a look and, uh, you know, see when you get the forks in the right position. Uh, you know, maybe certain things with the bucket or the grapple or, in, or some other front attachments. But in my mind, that's, that's the most uh, things that you're going to, that it's going to be a nuisance for you when you try to stand up and of course the tractor shuts off so let's take a look we'll get in close here and i'll show you where that wiring harness is it's, it's real easy um i went on ebay and just basically googled um coyote and you know this is the ck series i think i think I, and i'll try to put a pic picture of the uh site that i ordered mine from that maybe will show the part number and uh everything but um, it's basically uh, just a little connector with a jumper that bypasses the uh, seat safety switch. And you could make your own. Wouldn't, wouldn't be hard to do that. I, I thought about doing that, but a uh, little connector, I mean, it was only like seven, eight, maybe nine bucks. Um, it comes, you know, the connector, it just plugs and snaps and locks into place. If you made your own, you'd have to make sure, you know, you had it secure where it wouldn't come apart or there. Then your tractor don't start and you're sitting there scratching your head trying to figure out, you know, why I want it start and maybe your jumper came loose on your seat safety switch. Um, but we'll get in close and look at it and I'll show you exactly how I did it. It's, it, I mean, literally takes 
30 seconds once you've got the part. You unplug and plug and, and you're done. So, uh, all right, let's see if we can get some good shots of it. All right, so took all my junk from behind the seat, so maybe you can get a look at this. If you see, there's a wiring harness right here. Um, like I said, this is on the CK Coyote CK series, but I gotta imagine it's similar on most all tractors. Somewhere around that seat, there's gonna be a wiring harness. Um, this comes from under this compartment here and then you can see the wire that kind of goes around and that actually all right, let's get on the other side but anyway right here is the connector it's got one of those little latches right there that you lift up and it'll come apart I'll show you that in a second let's look around on the other side here yeah and that wires uh, kind of tied right there and then you can see right there is um, where it actually goes under the seat to the actual, you know, connected to the bottom of the seat, the actual safety switch itself. So basically, all we're doing is taking that connector apart right there and putting this guy in its place. So there it is. It's the same kind of connector piece that you see down there, but you can see it's just got a jumper. Uh, and it's got the little little ear sticking up right there that locks in place with the clip on the part that you take loose. So there's actually no way you can get it wrong. Once you unplug it, it'll only go into one, one side. Of course, you're going to plug it into the part that goes back to the instrument panel. You know, the, the wire that goes up under the seat is no longer going to be needed because you're eliminating the seat switch. So uh, let me see if I can position the camera and then uh, first before we do that all right so right now you see we are in neutral and I do have the parking brake on currently so if we turn the key on and you may be able to see right there I don't know if you can see that for the glare but the parking brake is on so if I hit the key right now nothing absolutely nothing so everything's still connected. So now let's climb on the tractor, sit down in the seat. Now when I hit the key, fire it. Now, as long as you leave the brake off, I'm not sure about having it out of here, but anyway, as long as you got the brake off, you can get off the tractor, that's no problem. As you can see, it still runs. So that sort of bypasses or overrides the seat switch. So you can get down to move something or whatever without having to cut the tractor off. But, let's unlock the brake. Okay. Brake is unlocked. So now, if I were to want to stand up, or if I were to attempt to get off of the tractor, you can see, oh, it's a three or four second delay there, and she cuts off. So, um, that to me was just a nuisance. It just... I just didn't like it. I had never, as I said before, never had that on any other tractors. Um, it just uh, wasn't kosher to me. So, all right, let me see if I can position this camera. We'll unplug this thing, put the bypass connector on there, and then we'll basically run it through that same series of tests. So let me just see if I can get this thing positioned. Hang on one second. Okay, that might be positioned sort of awkward there, I don't know. But anyway, hopefully you can see that connector right there. So I'm just going to lift the, the little tab up and unplug it. Okay, so now the end, uh, the male end that's left, going back under the seat. We're just gonna abandon that. You know, if you wanna put something over the end of it, tape it up, whatever. If you, want, you know, ever wanna reconnect it, just wanna keep dirt out or whatever, that's, that's fine. So in the case of, there again, this is the Coyote CK series. Hopefully you can see that connector. This is the male end. I'm gonna take the little connector that I ordered and with the little ear piece sticking up so it'll catch under the little clip 
So it'll only go on there one way. You basically just plug it in and it clips. So now you can see we've got that wire coming there with a jumper. So basically it thinks somebody's in the seat all the time. And I just let that lay back under the seat just like that. And I've had this on here for two and a half years now and it has um, you know, not uh, giving me any problem. So uh, real, real simple fix. All right. Out here, so same, I haven't touched any of the controls. We're still in neutral. Uh, I take that back. The brake is not locked right now. So we're going to lock the brake. And I'm going to get out of the seat and stand next to the tractor and see what happens when I hit the key. So, no problem. We can start it. We can stand up. But there again, now we can even unlock the brake. And it's still going to run. Again, I'm not promoting if you should decide you want to try this, that you, you know, don't lock your brake when you get on and off the tractor or, or put it in neutral. So that is definitely best case practice. Uh, but this does allow you to uh, get out of that seat. And, uh, like I said, mainly when you're up here and you're looking over that hood and raise the loader up a little bit almost impossible. You can see a little bit through some of the holes of the headache rack here. Maybe if you didn't have a headache rack on your horse, it might be a little easier, but I mean, you know, if you get it up to this level here, you can see it. You can sort of see the ends of those forks, but then when you lower it down, that's when, you know, you really, you can look side to side, you might can see a little bit, but then as you stand up, now, I don't know if you can see it through the holes in that rack, I can see the end of those tips. And especially if, you know, paint them orange or something like that. I did mine, but it's kind of worn off now. So, uh, anyway, that's that. That's going to do it for this one. Um, I hope that helps you. Once again, I am not promoting that anyone do this. It's strictly entirely up to you. Uh, as I said, for me, it, it makes it much easier to do, do my task without the nuisance of that seat switch. Um, maybe it's the wrong thing to do. Um, if it is, I apologize. But there again, it's what I chose to do to my tractor. I'm not choosing or suggesting that anyone else do it but uh if you decide that's the route that you choose to go it's it's super simple to uh to do that but uh anyway i really appreciate y'all joining me um hopefully i'll get some more videos out soon um just kind of hard this time of the year you know you when well, I, I get home a little after 5 5 15 in the afternoon 5 20 and uh it's pretty much already dark so that kind of eliminates most weekly videos. So uh, it's basically just the weekend. And you know, this time of year, all the Christmas shopping and decorating, and it's just a busy time. So, uh, but if I don't get a chance to get another one out, I'm hoping to get maybe one more out before Christmas. I'd just like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Uh, be safe out there and uh, happy holidays to everyone. Uh, especially some of my good YouTube buddies uh, that I feel like we've uh, you know become YouTube friends or whatever uh, Mike over over at my wild coyote adventures I want to definitely wish him a Merry Christmas and Steve over at working on it and uh, Jacob at Twin City Firewood uh, I want to wish all those guys uh, you know I've got lots of other people that uh, follow and that follow me but uh, those are some of the more close ones that we follow each other but um, just uh, hope everybody has a happy, safe Christmas, and uh, you know, it's uh, 
thankful to be healthy and uh, uh, alive and breathing and you know it's a lot to be thankful for so uh, anyway happy tractoring and um, you know hit that subscribe button if you would I'm just trying to keep the numbers going and uh, if you like these kind of videos um, that'll do it catch you next time thanks a lot